Okay, welcome back to Reconstruct New World. Just, you know, we're traveling by train. Let's go down, finding the right path down here. Already now, the thing of traveling with train on us, yes. is, uh, it takes, yeah, a wee bit longer. <laughs> a wee bit longer. It's a little bit longer. It's a little, We've like, been traveling, 10 hours. Traveling since <laughs> one o'clock. And uh, the, now you can, the, the time is seven. Yeah. Eight, eight yeah. o'clock. And we're in Hamburg. Traveling with train is, um, yeah, it's just a little more chaotic. The cruise down there. Look. The cinematography. It's, it's, with, yeah. Smoochy. Say <laughs> it again. How's the. It's so super warm. It's 30 degrees. Yeah. It's humid. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm sticky. You're loving, you're loving the slow travel uh, on train. I'm going train. to stick with you in a really small cabin in the train. Yeah. On us. We two are sleeping together. Yeah. It's going to be super hot. So, so Anna. Anna. So Anna. So Anna. So Anna. Yeah. What is, what is the difference between flying and traveling by train? Besides the time, it is right now just finding the right fucking track. Is a, is a wee bit more difficult. And, and, and actually, we should say that me and Anas are super good at traveling with train. Yeah, We've been it's, traveling. It's not the first time. No, I've been traveling for the last 10 years and uh, with train on vacation. And I only flew or spawned in a train two times the last 10 years. You and flew a little more. That's a lie. No, <laughs> not a lie. It's actually the truth. 32. 32 to 36. Yeah, no, yeah. No, no, you didn't. Did you guys only buy the one downstairs? Yeah. 42, 46. We're both down here. And the next one? 111. 111. That's one for Aunus. That's one for Aunus. So, uh, Aunus. It's a spice down there. <laughs> okay, Anas, I'm coming. <laughs> That's so little room, man. It's like four. This, this is like two giraffes being pressed into a container. You know, it's like trying to smuggle a giraffe up your ass. I think we have to do. Are we down here too? Yes, but okay. Forty six, forty two. Yeah, that's ours. Hey. So here is the uh, pissoir. Ah, the pissoir. And uh, it's also, I mean, it depends on how high you are and you know what you can. I mean, but you can use this for washing it. So when you stand, it's really a great design. So it's called this train is called. The trains of Swiss army knives. So this one, for, extent, for instance, this one you can take out. This is for cleaning your ears. So you bend down and you... It can be dangerous when you are driving high speed with the train. So please only do it when you are at a station. Remember, he's the architect and I'm supposed to be the funny guy. And here you have this one. Continue. 230 volts. At a certain speed, this you can charge directly on the mirror. I've never seen anything like this, actually. It's really, really unique. Also, the way that they divided the doors, it's very new. In architecture, that would be, I think, a good idea that you can see it's the same, it's the same door. And then... Okay, let's go. See you, man. Okay, try, try now. No, no. No, you're being stupid. There's two different things. There's, there's something being locked and then somebody being stupid. Two, two whole different things. Anna, check this yeah, out. Yeah. Again, they come up with a brilliant idea. That, that, is, that is so beautiful. The whole smooth surface there. That you is, couldn't do that with the sustainable material. This is why... You, you know you're ruining somebody else's room, right? We're in here. And then check this out. Yeah. Very good. Is it nice? It's super nice. Okay, so okay, so you're done. We just found out 
actually what happened is that and we uh, called somebody uh, who works in the company in Switzerland, OBB. The plugs here are not working. There's no power in the plug. There's no power. The company knows it's not working. They're selling these fucking uh, things, but they know it's not working out. We already know now that there's no coffee tomorrow. There's so much drama. It's really drama. It's, it's like a train re- drama. It's train drama. It's like uh, oh my God. M- murder on the on the on the Nile. What is it called? It, it, there is the something Odin- called murder on the Nile. There's also something called murder in this fucking train wagon. If you don't shut the fuck up. The express. What's it called? The one with the Yeah, yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> Jesus. It's not a night train, it's, a, it's not a sleeping train, it's a toss and turn. Did you sleep one? I'm too old for this ship. We saved 209.7 CO2 each. <coughs> yes. Which I'm now gonna burn in painkillers. This is the this is the least bright statement. All all people are regretting all their choices now. Ah, look at that. But that is a nice view. That is, and then it all makes sense. All of a sudden, it's like that's why we do what we do. So, Enjoy. I'm actually through taking a decision right now that I'm never gonna take a night train again. I might t- take the train again, you know, in the daytime, but this night train. Ah, <laughs> oh, I wish. Somebody would fucking make aviation fuel sustainable. If you want to. <coughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. You totally look like uh, a, a coke dealer in a small town. <laughs> Doesn't it look like. Not a big town, but like in a <laughs> suburb or a small town. What so were you saying about point, the rails? My point is, if you. When you have the space, the, the problem is if you had to like put down rails in a new urban context, you would have to remove houses, all that stuff. But the inf- like the, this infrastructure is there, but it's not upgraded. So if you take all the old rails out and accept that you needed to make room for new high-speed trains, like the TKB or some of these other like super fast trains. Oh, you got serious. Now I understand. So. You wouldn't have to spend like be one and a half hours or two hours before in the airport, go around, blah blah blah. They can also be delayed, and also the airports are also you know, almost an hour outside the cities of. The I get it. And, and you would have the situation you, you would have it. seats with a massage. Also very nice. You would have the coolest restaurants sitting there. Maybe not the coolest, but. A nice one. You I don't think really any that CB from Norman was, you know, my next restaurant that would be is a good a bullet train. What are you eating? That's why we're waiting. It's because we have to wait for all mm-hmm. these trains. All the oil to pass by. Is this no the oil, oil, this that's fucking oil train. So it's a super sustainable oil train. This is the fossil world laughing at us. Yeah, I have, I have, a, I have great news on this. What? Who uh, did you talk with? Are you, can you see the train is uh, standing still again? It says you lost me. It's because uh, we are super sustainable. Because we are not moving at all and we are one and a half, maybe two hours uh, delayed. 
I mean, I'm never. Maybe we should try and sleep a little bit. Maybe we should actually try. And it's sleep like it. you couldn't do this in a plane. That's impossible. Yes. No, no, you would already be there. We are uh, three kilometers from our destination, Zurich, and uh, apparently we are there in one and a half hours. Uh, this is the most sustainable train ride ever because the locomotive doesn't work, meaning that it doesn't emit any CO2 at all. Oh, if you should rate this train ride, I, I so much you want to rate it? No, I so much want to love trains. I so much want to love it. I fucking love trains. I so much want this to work. So yes. um, we moved four. We moved four wagons, carriages down to see if we can get. Uh, power on our, because all, all my devices are done. And so we moved in here, and Anas, what's the status of the power? It's dead. Again, a very sustainable choice. Travel on the train. <laughs> I, I, so I, I, do, I do concur. It's great to save uh, some, you know, save the power. So I so much want to love trains. I do love trains. I love trains. I love this. I actually do love trains. I, I, love, I love that, you know, you never know what you're going to get. So we are we're taking the uh, air train. It's a much faster train. It seems a little bit more comfortable. It's also a little less sustainable, to say the fucking least. We lost. We actually lost. We lost Earth. I'm actually super disappointed in myself. <laughs>